The Surface is a Windows RT tablet from Microsoft, and it represents the company's first foray into tablet hardware design. The design and engineering are excellent, and the top quality materials make it a joy to use and hold on a daily basis. For example, the backplane on the device is made out of Vapor MG, which is a magnesium alloy that's thin and light, but also extremely strong. The shape of the device is kind of interesting in that it is 16 by 10, which means it makes it rather wide and narrow, so it's kind of awkward to use in portrait mode. But overall, the design of the device is really excellent. They've done a number of innovative things with this device to make it more enjoyable on a daily basis, such as adding a kickstand on the back, which allows you to prop it upright on a desk, and they've also created a soft touch keyboard which allows you to uh, type on it a lot easier than just typing on the screen. The keyboard snaps on with a magnetic attachment with a reassuring click and is easy to remove when you want to take the tablet with you and have you know, a tablet mode on your couch or on your desk or something like that. The keyboard is very thin so it doesn't add any bulk to the device at all. Uh, the device is rather large compared to other tablets like the Galaxy Tab, for example. Uh, it is quite a bit wider, almost a full inch wider, and it is uh, quite a bit thicker as well, but you really won't notice this because of the uh, ultra light weight. It really is only one and a half pounds, so you can't even hardly tell it's in your hand. Uh, again, it is an excellent looking device, really comfortable to use, and let's take a closer look at the device in detail. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Surface and my uh, touch keyboard here. I'm going to use the touch keyboard for now. I don't necessarily have to use it, but I'm going to use it uh, to do the demo. And as you can see, the Surface is a nice looking tablet. It's a nice size. Uh, it's a little bit wide, wider than usual, but it is a nice size just the same. Obviously, the touch keyboard right here. And the, the attaching the Surface to the touch keyboard is a simple affair. It's just a, a magnetic clip, and you just connect the two to each other, and they snap right into place. Then you pull the key kickstand out, and you've got a nice little laptop design, which is fairly unique for a uh, tablet, because I can use it for real work. I can use it for some real typing with this touch keyboard. Now, the keyboard is not necessarily as nice as a full-on tactile keyboard, um, but it is better than touching on the screen, and you can get a nice angle, view what you're doing, without having the keyboard get in the way of what you're working on on your screen. This is the standard lock screen on Windows, and you simply drag up to unlock it, and you can see I'm in a web browser right now. Now, if I want to go to the standard interface, I can tap on the Windows button on the screen there, or I can tap the Windows key on my keyboard, and then I see my standard Metro-style UI. Uh, this has all of the applications that I've decided to put on the Start Bar. I only I get to choose what I put on the Start Bar. I don't just see everything. If I wanted to see all apps, I simply swipe from the bottom, tap on All Apps, and then I've got a list of all of the applications that are installed on my machine. But realistically, most of the time you're just going to customize your metro interface here, your start interface, to have the applications that you want. Now you notice I have lots of tiles on here and some of them are live and scrolling through. That's what they call live tiles and it's very nice because it tells you what you know the most recent information about a particular app uh, or information pulled down by a particular app is. I've got uh, my mail scrolling over here, the weather and those sorts of things which is very nice. As you can see, the interface is very, very fluid, very responsive. It's uh, very nice to use, really a pleasure to use, actually. Um, if I want to get into a particular application, I simply tap on its icon and it opens right up. Um, you can see this application was already open. And if I want to go back to a previous application, I simply drag from the left and it will roll through my prior applications. Now one of the nice things also about Windows 8 is that I can run multiple applications at the same time. It is a true uh, multitasking operating system, even on the RT version. And if I scroll out to the right with a prior application and then push it back to the left, I can see all my current open applications and then switch really quickly to an individual one. So here I'm back to my Twitter client, for example. Another thing that I really enjoy about Windows RT is the ability to split the screen into two applications. So, for example, this is my Twitter app, and if I want to keep track of this all the time, no matter what I'm doing, I simply drag down from the top to make it small, then pull it over here to the right and it fills out a single column on the right hand side. Next, if I want to get back to my web browser, I can either drag from the left to see prior apps, or I can scroll over here and tap on Internet Explorer, and there you go. Internet Explorer comes right up. Now one thing you'll notice, again, very responsive. Internet Explorer is incredibly fast, very easy to use, and very nice. And it is a full-featured web browser. I'm not sacrificing anything here like I am on most tablets. Things render properly. Everything simply just works, which is fantastic. When I'm done with an application, I simply drag down to the bottom. 
Now, one of the quirky things about Windows uh, RT and Windows 8 as a whole, of course, is that it does have a desktop on it as well, which is more like a traditional laptop. This has its pros and cons. If you have a, you know, a keyboard interface like this with a touchpad and a trackpad, it actually can be fairly useful because you have the precision of a touchpad uh, and you can use it like a desktop operating system, which enables you to have applications like you'll notice I have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and uh, OneNote on here. But it does is kind of jarring when it comes up and you see a normal Windows style desktop when you're running an application. Again, it's 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 kind of a, a catch-22 kind of a situation. They wanted it to be a device where you could get some real work done and feel like you could take it with you without sacrificing too much. But in order to do that, they kind of left some of the uh, some of the very Microsoft standard kinds of interfaces in there. As you can see, Word's been revamped a bit for the interface by, you know, the menus are a bit farther apart, which makes them a little easier to tap on if you want to tap on them. But in reality, I'm guessing that if you're using this side of the interface, you're mostly going to want to use your trackpad and your pointer and your uh, buttons just like you ordinarily would. Again, it's great though to have this kind of functionality with you on the road so you're not dealing with these overly simplistic ultra basic apps that barely get the job done. You can actually get some real work done and do some real presentations. Again, the uh, Surface is a great device. I've really enjoyed using it. I really feel like from a tablet perspective, this is one of the first devices that I've experienced that I would feel totally comfortable taking with me as my sole device for a conference to give presentations or those sorts of things because I know that as a tablet this is actually going to be capable of doing so much more so it's been um, it's been really enjoyable